So I've been having an issue where the Garmin panel thinks that it's got like, essentially fresh data installed on every boot up. And it tries to process and verify the data. Sometimes failing to do that, sometimes it goes okay. This time it's actually perfectly fine, of course, now that I'm trying to record this. Chart data update available as normal. In fact, I have that downloaded. I'm going to load that up in just a bit. <clears throat> Oral warning, okay. Which I think I'll do is just maybe another test because it seems like it's a little different every time I boot it up. Let's see what this thinks. Okay, the <clears throat> internal navigation database that's active it looks fine and the standby one is matching that which is fine for right now. The uh, base map is fine. The safe taxi which is taxi diagrams was verified okay. Terrain did as well. Obstacles did as well, and in particular the terrain and obstacles were having trouble previously. Uh, airport directory, and then the Jeppesen charts and plates. It's fine. Pause system test. Okay. Yeah, the other thing that was failing was the synthetic vision, where you can see the green instead of the green ground instead of the orange was uh, failing before, so let's just cycle it one more time and see what happens. Turn everything off. I'll give it a moment to uh, make sure all the power is out of it, and then we'll come back with basic battery power and then full GPU power. Grab my little SD card adapter. My bag. Huh, seems fine. Of course, all right. Well, I shall go ahead and update the data anyway, and we'll see if it tolerates that. And that is finished, so I will eject the card. And go ahead and put it back in the lower slot. So the nav data is managed in the upper slot. Um, you have to swap out a different card to put in new nav data, but then it synchronizes across on everything. The lower one handles terrain, obstacles, charts, um, airport diagram, whatever else I'm forgetting there. So it handles the bulk of it, and that will also sync to the PFDs on the sides. However, the terrain database is massive, so you generally write that directly to each of the bottom cards uh, and have it avoid having to sync that, because otherwise you'd be sitting here all day long. So now let's put the nav data on the spare card. Transferring that over with the same JDM application. Okay, and then we temporarily remove this card where the MFD's been writing out engine data and track log information and so forth, and we use it, use this temporary one for this process. I think we're done with the laptop. Should be. <clears throat> so at this point, do you want to update the standby database? I do, so I hit yes. Um, I don't want to update the active one yet because this data that I'm uploading has not gone current. It's a few days before it goes live, so. When it asks me about the active, I'm just going to say no. Aural warning, okay. Now, we probably will see some terrain and obstacle data miscompare messages this time because uh, we don't have the screens all booted together. Do you want to update the active navigation database? No. All right, updated one file successfully. Any key to continue? Go ahead. Standby nav will be verified before use. 
that's saying everything will be verified before use. But I think that's just the chart stuff that I updated. It looks like it, so that's good. <clears throat> the PFDs are complaining right now because they're missing a lot of data that normally comes through the MF MFD screen connection. And this thing is still booting up, so you can see it's talking. Pause system test. Okay. Mm, that terrain test went fine. Uh, that the AHARS was failing, it couldn't talk to the other one, but now it can because this is booted up. So let's see, safe taxi, uh, everything looks fine. Chart view disables on a later date than it was before, so that's good. And if I turn the big knob here, got changes kind of the chapters down here. So we're on map, waypoint, aux. Then I do the skinnier knob down to system status. Push the MFD 1 DB just to jump to this part of the page so I can scroll around. We can see that it's syncing over that standby nav database that I updated over to both PFDs. And we may see it syncing the, um, I don't think the charts sync actually, but we'll see. They didn't in the Cirrus. We have a message about standby navigation database mismatch over here, which is fine because we're actively updating that now. Okay, so that's complete. Let's just scan this again. The active nav expires in a few days. The standby goes live in a few days. The uh, base map, all the highways and all the basic stuff is good. Taxi charts, terrain, obstacles. Airport directory and charts all look fine. And there's no more syncing going on, so we're done with this. So what I can do, so I'll power down again, put the normal logging card. This also has a little checklist file that I uploaded for getting a checklist on the panel, which I haven't really used yet, but I thought I would try it out. And then we will power it back up again on the GPU. Standby will be verified. Database checklist will be verified, and I didn't expect to see that. me putting the checklist on there is tripping things up. Seemed like it was fine these last few boots though. Checklist file TBM900, that's fine. That's the one I put in there. Aural warning, okay. <clears throat> this looks good actually. When I was having trouble before, we would talk about it was needing to re-verify these things even though I had not updated them and so forth. So and it's doing the terrain checks now. You can see it says TAWS test terrain alert and warning system I think is what that stands for if I recall correctly but it's basically looking at the obstacle and terrain data and making sure it all matches and can be loaded and so forth pause system test okay all right good interesting okay I'm gonna do another complete cycle power cycle Basic battery with the crash bar and then up to GPU so we don't burn out the main battery playing around with this. Let's see if we get a clean boot up. We should not see any verifying messages, I don't think. I think I gave it enough time to have finished that before. Warning, okay. Looks good. GWX needs service. I think I've seen that occasionally. I don't think that's a real thing. I watched that though. System status. It looks fine. 
Uh, these are just a hard booting up still. We'll see if the terrain works. Pause system test. Okay. We got a bunch of errors here for the pitch, uh, the different trim motors and so forth, but it all makes sense because I had that powered down and that cleared that last error message. Let's see if we get the error back. Good. Okay. All right. It seems fine. I don't know. I'm going to fly it in about an hour over to Houston. Uh, it's been giving me trouble for the past two trips. One was Houston, one was out to uh, Colorado. Um, basically every other boot, all the data would work. And every other boot besides that, the terrain would fail. I still flew just fine. I wouldn't have SV though, but it didn't stop my trips. We'll see how it does today.